from House of Virgo. All right, you guys. So if you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. And uh, yeah, happy holidays to everyone. This is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So keep in mind, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take a fix, leave the rest. All right, Virgo, let's get into this message. See what the love message is here for you going forward, December into January, 2023. Okay, here's the love messages. Pay attention to red flags here, Virgo. The signs are cautioning you, okay? And you have make some type of an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And this could be the one, okay. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Um, so someone's coming with some red flags, okay? Or someone's showing up here with some red flags. They're making some type of an effort because they think that you could be the one. Um, but they're also looking for red flags as well, okay? Um, so I feel like there's a connection here with someone where it's like you both come to realize that, you know, this is the person for me, vice versa, and like, I want to take a risk. This is a great love. Put in the effort. But there might be some red flags here and, you know, uh, trying to figure out what is what at this time okay um so seven of wands is here so there's a very defensive energy so this red flag could be that someone is doing a lot of that pushback seven of wands um protecting themselves there might be someone here that you connect with where you feel like yes this is the one you want to make an effort with this person um but they're very self-protective they're not really showing too much they're um kind of like hmm they might not be emotionally available in some ways or they kind of push back if you try to get too close to them okay let me see here could be a fire sign okay this person shows up single um high status someone that has good money they're solo very independent um they show up like total package like this person is complete you know um there may even be accomplished in some way i feel like this person has plenty of money um they look good they dress well they show up they show out that kind of energy but it's like they're just pushing back okay don't get too close don't get too close you're gonna mess up you put fingerprints on this fine glass don't get too close um, which makes me feel like this person is very fragile and if anybody gets too close to them then um, they might see that they're easily breakable so yeah and I feel like somebody here is okay it could be another Virgo um, there's definitely a connection this this is definitely someone here that you can connect with or that you maybe you already do connect with and you feel this like this is the person, but these red flags or this person is standoffish or isn't very open and pushes you away. Okay. So interesting way to start. Yeah. Okay. So there's death here. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. That just makes me feel they're saying like, if you get too close, if you put fingerprints on the glass, it's very fragile. And this, you know, I, it's weird. It, they're just saying like this person is so fragile. They put up this defense. They put on this mask. They make themselves. And I, I'm like, why Virgo? Do you think this could be the one for you? Because you see something. You see through the veil, behind the veil. You see something in this person that is pretty amazing and they are fearful if you see that it'll be the death of them wow okay wow show me this death card okay yeah look at this person here trying to like make everything i'm hearing performance maybe they perform to a pentacles energy trying to like keep up the facade keep up the appearances it's like virgo you see this and these are some red flags and I don't know some of you might just be like oh I don't know you know like how can you have an authentic transparent relationship with someone who is you know doing a juggling act for all 
okay? Um, maybe this person works in some kind of performance field um, where they have to, um, they show up on stage and they show up and make everybody be wowed and in awe of them. Um, but they're wearing some kind of a mask. Like they don't like to see anybody, like to, for anybody to see who they really are. Okay. So they kind of show their representative or they define themselves by their riches or their career or how, you know, like how they are. And I feel like this person, they have to keep some type of facade up or protect themselves from anybody getting in and destroying them. Um, because if they do, then that death card shows up where things will end or I'm just hearing like got to like impressionist or got to impress Virgo and keep Virgo like don't get too close that's what I keep hearing so you know but I also feel like this person feels like you could be the one and I see them trying to make an effort here during that time period from now through January but they're still kind of like, okay, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to keep Virgo entertained. I'm going to keep Virgo interested, but I'm not going to let Virgo in too, too close. I'm going to protect myself still. Okay, why? Why? Okay, issues with the mother. Hmm. Issues with the mother in their childhood. Yep. <sighs> they have mommy issues. Now maybe daddy issues. Something happened in their childhood. Um... That Empress energy in the upright is very nurturing and loving. Um, let's see, what were the issues with the mother? Okay, yeah, mother was way too uh, smothering. So this that would make this person avoidant, and that's what I was picking up. Like in a very, a very, or the mother or the father, or somebody was too smothering of them. And that generally, when when if a parent that's like way too smothering that you know, can cause someone to be very avoidant. Yet, yet, Virgo, this person, they're all mixed up because they see you as being that love, like, you know, and they want to make this effort with you. But like, I don't know, they're also looking for red flags. Like, are you going to be too smothering on them? And, you know, or have you been? And then they push away and they get very avoidant. So there's this dance, this dance that happens here. Yep. Five of Pentacles, smothering and then abandonment, 100%. Jeez. Whoever they were connected with, it, could, it may not have been a parent. It definitely could have been an ex or someone they were with for a long time that was so, like, on top of them all the time, okay? Um, and for some of you, it could have been you. If this is someone you were connecting with, um, the more avoidant they were, maybe the more anxious you got, Okay. Um, and you would come after them and then maybe you would, they would push you away. Yeah. That kind of energy is playing out here. Yeah. Ten of cups. So for some, it was like a marriage or a relationship, or it was the parents marriage or relationship. They saw some dynamics that I feel that really just made things. That's a tough place to be with someone who knows that you are the love of their life or you are the person that is the right, this like the one, the only one for them. <clears throat> and yet they're so fearful to have this connection. They're so fearful for you to get close. Okay, let me see what the emotions are because I just feel like I need to know here. What is the hidden truth of this person's feelings for you, Virgo? Okay, well, this person, they do love you, and I do feel like like you're the one for them. Their life is not as together as it seems, okay? So they kind of pretend. Um, they put on a show, definitely putting on a show, putting on the Ritz, making everything seem like if they're all together, they got everything together. Okay, they have good news they want to share with you. Um... They also wish they could take some words back that they might have said to you, Virgo. Maybe pushing you away or told you to go away. Yeah, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Um, pushing away, yes. But some of you had enough and you said, that's it, you're done. And they had no other choice but to let you go. Or you showed this person 
that's the last time you're gonna push me away. And now I'm gonna show you what it means to go. And they were forced or they had to let you go and that was very difficult because avoidants don't want to let people go. They just want extreme amounts of space. And I feel like you did not want extreme amounts of space. You wanted time with this person. And to them that was like, no, you're smothering me even if it was just for a day. Okay, so they were forced to let you go. This person replaced conversations over and over the things that you've talked about or the things that you said to them and vice versa but they feel that you're leaving them behind wow and they want things to be different they wish it could be different but they're not sure they do wish they had treated you better virgo and they're wondering if you're happy without them are you virgo are you happy without this person you were the best thing in their life and they still want you hmm they lost themselves for a little while. Yeah, I'll say. They got lost or they pushed you away. They're definitely afraid to contact you, but are they gonna contact you? Let me see. Is anything gonna change here? My phone is going off like crazy. Is this person gonna make any changes? All right, six of wands. So you know what, Virgo? There's definitely be somebody connecting to you. Um, They may have taken their space, Virgo, and they may be, have had enough, okay? And with you walking away from them, now they feel kind of confined and they feel lost um, and they're in isolation. And I do feel like this person is gonna try to come back into your life and try to win you over with the Six of Wands. Oh, look. Okay, the emperor yeah definitely coming in with this i feel like this is a dynamic they might have seen in their relationship uh parents relationship or in their relationship in the past um so they're going to come in with this emperor energy hmm, and shock the monkey <laughs> i don't know why i said that maybe their name is peter they're going to shock or gabriel <laughs> they're going to shock you with this energy right because I feel like for you, Virgo, you have finished with this. And you probably got, got to or will get to a point where, like, it's a done deal. Like, it's done. It's over. Aries energy here. Um, definitely, I see some Scorpio again. I feel like this person, we have uh, Libra. There's also Taurus. Um, and I feel like this person is, like, just when you think, no, they're not coming back around again. Um, yeah, they're going to come back in because that's what avoidance do. They never avoid for very long. It's an anxious type of secure, an anxious type of attachment. So they need a lot of space. They got to push back and take their space because even two minutes feels like a lifetime of smothering to them. And then once they've had enough space or they feel like, it, so it's all, there's almost a dictator, a dictating kind of energy with this emperor. Like it's on their turf. It's their decision. They come in and out of your life as they please, right? I don't like that. I don't like that energy because it, it's like they have issues. You know, it's like person that's very anxious will just smother and smother and smother without care giving the other person space. So this person avoids, avoids, avoids without care of the other person's needs. And then they come back in when, you know, they're ready. So I feel like you have somebody, that's a lot of the, the red flags here, you know. And while you're looking at their red flags, they're also looking at yours. They're, they're looking for some. And they're, the red flags that you give off, um, leaving, the tooth, leaving the cap off the toothpaste might be a red flag for this person. Or they find a reason. They, they create red flags. Or they turn um, molehills into mountains as red flags, right, so that they can avoid again. Yeah, this person, yeah, they're going to come in with, hey, how you doing? They, they, that crush energy, a little bit of love bombing coming up again. The nine of cups, you know, wish come true. You know, you're like, you're the buffet table of love. And I just want to eat every little bit of you that's on that table and smorgasbord and, you know, wish come true, the whole nine yards, you know, you, you make me feel better. Yeah, Virgo. Pay attention to the red flags. I feel like you're being cautioned here. 
Um, I want to make this work. I'm going to put the effort in, the commit, and then I feel like this person might be stuck in a pattern of, <clears throat> yeah, coming in and then going away and then coming back in again and then going away and like you're spinning around, your head's spinning, you don't know what's going on. It's very inconsistent behavior. So I feel like for you, Virgo, you may need to just choose the lane. If you've chosen the lane to leave, you need to stick with it. Stick to your guns. If you're uh, going to go back, then um, make sure if you go back, you're going to stay in the circle no matter what this person does. Like you have to be the one to call the shots here because this person, it seems like they're dictating based on their fears. And those are not your fears and they shouldn't be put on top of you. Okay. Forgive yourself or forgive this person so you can move forward. Okay. Also, integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals, Virgo? Does it fit you? It, are they, it, like the situation, the relationship is in alignment with what you want and what you need? Okay, here and now, your true love is already part of your life. This could be the one. So I do feel like this is your true love, but this person has got to learn that it takes two to tango and they can't dictate this relationship, you know? And um, if this is your true love and you're like, it's not going to work, this person is not in alignment with my values and they're not going to change and it's just going to be more of the same, you can love them from a distance, Virgo, because you got to protect yourself, right? You can't, like, you can't be in a relationship with someone who's dictating to you or dictating the way the relationship's going to go that's not a partnership that's a that's a one person ship okay so regret this person feels remorse for the way they treated you right well they would because a lot of you decided that you were going to leave and you weren't going to engage and now they're starting to regret it and they want to come in but they don't i don't feel like this person has learned the lesson quite yet this person's obsessed right they're obsessed with you and they keep coming back in Okay, well, for some of you, the relationship deserves a second chance, and that's great, a second chance, not a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I feel like if it's a second chance, fine, um, and then you got to go in there if you're going to do it <clears throat> and let this person know that, you know, you have a right to say how things, you want things to have your needs met, and if they keep running away or if they run away again when things get tough or they get scared and they can't sit and talk to you, talk to somebody else, but don't leave the relationship again, and if they do, then be done. But don't let people back with the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, because then they're just taking advantage of you. And, you know, you're looking like a doormat there. That you're basically giving the message, well, it's okay. You can walk all over me one more time. Like, you got to stand up for yourself somewhere. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting, Virgo. Tonight's question is going to be a little bit short because, as per usual... My little illness thing has come back. I've been fighting this thing for like a week and a half and I start feeling better and it comes back again. And I'm just like, okay, what's going on? I might have to go take one of those uh, 19 tests to see what the deal is. I mean, even if it is, it's like, what's the point now, right? So let me just take a look here and I want to see what your moon message might be for you, Virgo. Okay, step out of your comfort zone. What is your comfort zone, Virgo? Is your comfort zone to stay and fight? Or is your comfort zone... Um, to walk away or to run away? How can I say this, right? Your comfort... For some... Or I, take that back. Scratch that. Redact that. Your comfort zone is not doing something differently. That's what they're saying. You have to do something different. There's an old saying, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. If you keep doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. You're stepping out of your comfort zone is doing the thing that you fear because that's the thing you should be doing the most, the thing that you fear. Not the thing that you don't fear. Because there's no growth and change unless you face your fears. So what is it going to be, Virgo? Are you going to let somebody back in and dictate and keep sh and like, keep telling you or treating you a particular way? Or are you going to stand up to this person and say, Hey, I need to be heard and I need to be seen in this relationship. But if I'm not acknowledged and I'm not heard and you don't um, accept and um, appreciate that I have needs to be met as well and you can't meet them, then bye-bye. Right? 
or for others, then you got to go. Okay, then you got to go. You got to hold somebody accountable. You got to call somebody out on their bowl. And if they can't do it, then you can't stay. You know, you have to leverage it in your favor. And if this person is like, oh, okay, okay, well, I'll do this, you know, um, and then they do it for like two minutes, they get you back, but then they, they don't change. Like you have to make people hear you. You have to be seen. You can't change what they do. You can only change what you do. Okay. Let me say one more. I just felt the need to call one more. Your commitment is being tested. And your, this is your commitment to yourself, Virgo. This is not your commitment to this person. Your commitment to yourself is being tested right now. You're definitely being tested. What are you made of? Can you step out of that comfort zone? It's time for you to heal, okay? Heal. Healing doesn't mean we just lay there and we do nothing. Healing is proactive. And if you're going to make a decision to make an effort because you think this is the person and you see these red flags, I'll repeat it again, then you have to hold this person accountable, okay? If this is a dream of yours to be with this person, you need a practical plan. You can't go in with the emotions because the emotions are maybe what's keeping you in your comfort zone. Nobody likes the feeling of, you know, stepping out of that, stepping out of that comfort zone and having to face that, hey, you know what? This person might not change, but I can change. And if that means I'm going to be on my own, well, what's so bad about that? I love myself. I still love myself. I, there's other options. Somebody else will connect with me and I'll connect with them. And, and there will be other opportunities here. You know, it's, it's not, I mean, I think it's just getting yourself in that mindset of like, it's not a loss if someone isn't able to meet me halfway. It's not a loss to me. If anything, it'd be a loss to them. If you're there, if you're mindful, if you're present, motivated, and willing to make it work and somebody else is not, they just would rather dictate how things are going to go based on their fears. You can't dictate or make decisions based on your fears as far as well, if I leave, then I'm going to be all alone. Like you, you, if you're going to leave, you got to do it because you're going to be with self. Do you know what I mean? Like you're going to be happy with self because for some of you, it, 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 you're happier without someone. And for others, you're unhappy without this person, but you can't stay in the relationship because you're unhappy there too. So you got to make a decision. All right, let's see. Hand of cards. Take a chance, risk. You got to be strategic. You have options. Don't show your hand to somebody. Don't make old uh, ultimatums. If you're going to make a gamble here, make sure you know the risks and make sure you know what the outcome is going to be here. Okay. Play your cards right, Virgo, in this connection. If you feel frustrated in this relationship, you don't feel like you're enough or it's making you feel like you're lacking confidence. Um, if there's fear, ego issues, if something is happening here in this connection, uh, there's jealousy being caused, then you need to take a look at that, okay? And figure out, do you want to be in a relationship with someone who makes you feel like you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough if they keep abandoning you and you get too close? That's not healthy. That is not healthy. Okay, so I do feel like you're going to get a love call. Someone is definitely going to be reaching out to you during this December through January period, um, expressing their love, thinking of you, letting you know. That's very sweet. Um, if you want to address it at that time, if the conversation comes up, but I wouldn't spend any more than five minutes on the phone with someone unless they're willing to talk about the relationship and how things need to change and what they're going to do about it on their end. And if they don't want to have that conversation and they just want to talk about other things, oh, I got to hang up. I got another call and we'll keep it moving. Keep it moving. Point blank period. We're only taking bloody stumps here. Somebody's got to be willing, motivated and capable. Okay. To become a better person and uh, for this relationship. And that means Two people meeting halfway, meeting in the middle, compromising, working things together, resolving issues, and not running away from the relationship when things get too hard, okay? Um, how's that saying go? When the going gets tough, the tough get going, <laughs> okay? There's no room for toughness in a relationship. There's no room for toughness. To be tough is to be soft. To be tough is to be soft and to be open and to be um, expressive, okay? There's nothing tough 
are, there's nothing healthy about being in a relationship with someone that's full of pride and that's playing the, the tough girl, the tough guy. That's, you know, I mean, I think there's something about being confident and having um, the ability to persevere, but to be pushing away and defensive and being tough like that, that's, that's, there's no vulnerability. So then there can't be any uh, openness or love if there's no vulnerability. And look, just when I was saying that, because I was thinking of the lover's card, here's the lover's. Embracing true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness, okay? So this is about, could be for some of you, this is a twin flame or a soulmate connection, where two people are making a decision about the relationship. That's either to come together, <coughs> excuse me, or to separate, okay? But it's a choice. It's a decision. That is always what the lover's is about. Okay, it's either the strength of two together or the strength of two apart. So I feel like during this time period, some of you, I don't know exactly who, has an issue to address in the relationship. And hopefully, you guys, I hope that somebody does respond to this and actually puts in the effort, makes the effort, because they feel that you are the one for them and takes a look at their own red flags as well as you healing from yours. All right, Virgo. So like I said, this is going to be short and sweet tonight. And I'm going to actually <laughs> go take a nap <laughs> or just go to bed. I don't know. All right, you guys, I love you very much. And I will see you all hopefully tomorrow.